Uh, so how did you, like, what was your process getting started in comics? Wow. Um, I mean, I have, like, the story. Do you want to yeah, that, like, j- weird jump in. to tell the story? No, um, tell, me the, tell me the whole story. So I've, like, always read comics, obviously. Um, I think, you know, everything here and there. Um, but I didn't start really, like, earnestly collecting single issues because before then it would be, like, trade paperbacks or random things here and there. But following monthly regularly, I didn't start doing that until New, F- New 52 oh, happened wow. at DC. So that was when I was, like, I'm okay, going to really man. commit to single issue collections. And a lot of my friends started collecting single issues again at that time, so it was a big thing for all of us. And so um, with that, I kind of, we, th- there were a lot of signings with New 52, like at local stores, and I kind of realized, I was like, holy shit, like this is a job. Like this guy gets to do this for, for a living. living. Yeah. He's writing for a living. And I'd been writing lots of short stories and prose and journalism up to that point. And I, and I, I really at that point kind of knew I wanted to be a writer, but I, I wasn't sure where that was going to lead. Um, and I just kind of, like, I hit it hard. I was like, I, I, I want to do this. You know, I was reading, a, like, a, you know, 15 books a month. And I was like, I, I want to be writing these things. Um, and so I, I had no idea how you do that. Um, and I, I, I sort of found there's some of, like, my short story open call groups, like uh, open calls for comic scripts. Uh, and I wrote, like, a couple little things for Arcana Studio and uh, like a random Irish publisher, like a random short story thing for, for a comic. And it was just like little things, but I didn't, I wasn't seeing how that was going to connect. And so I, cause I, you know, I, when I was in college, I was like, well, you get internships. So I, one day, I mean, I sent emails to everyone I could think of. Um, and I was ready to even like go across the country if I had to, but that was not ideal. And I didn't get a lot of responses. Uh, so one day I like printed out all these like little resumes and I drove all over downtown LA. I was going to UC Irvine at the time, so I was like all the way out in Orange County, but I, I, I drove out here and I went to any comic company I could think of to find in Los Angeles. I, like, I went to Boom, I went to Bongo, I tried to find Top Cow. Uh, I think I might have been under the impression that Image still had their Century City office at this time, so I was like looking for Image. Right. And uh, anywhere I went, I know I was trying to give these resumes out, uh, like either I couldn't find the place or I went there and they were like, eh, we don't really do interns. Uh, and so I was like super dejected and I I went home and like literally is why it's so crazy why it's like the story uh, is that I, I went home that that night like super super fucking dejected I'm like this is it uh, and I had an email waiting for me from Top Cow that's uh, so cool the, the editor I had emailed about maybe being an intern there and she was like she's like hey yeah we might need an intern this summer like we'll see Come I'll in. get back to you I'll get back to you in like a week and so that's how I ended up I was an intern at Top Cow for a while and and people left and I was there doing like editorial assistant work and assistant editor work and doing that and then I uh, after a while that I was I just knew I had to I was writing the whole time and then after that I was like I need to write full time yeah start the transition transition, process and that's it's been working out great for you fingers crossed (laughs) yeah (laughs) Um, like what was your first book that you ended up writing for for Top Cow like what was Um, it was it was Aphrodite 9 Hidden Files okay Uh, I I very much distinctly remember because uh, you know you know Seek of course so uh, it was we were having a meeting and uh, it was everybody at Top Cow, and then me and Seek were like the two. I was the intern. He was the part-time marketing guy. And uh, Hawkins came in, and he was talking about writing Aphrodite 9. And he was like, I need to, we need to do one of these fact books. And he was like, and he looked at us, and he goes, uh, you two can write it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was it. Like, and that was the first thing. And I, uh, we, uh, we ended up doing that, and I did a couple other Hidden Files books. Uh, and then um, Top Cow does that talent hunt yep. every year. And uh, 2014, I think, was the year I was in charge of it. Uh, they just like had me do it because they were they were short staffed or whatever. I mean, Matt and Mark still picked the winners, but I was in of charge course. of like running it and, and narrowing Making it all sure, down. Yeah, that's you have to at least pass the the gates. Yeah, and, <laughs> exactly. If, no, I, they I don't want to. You have that's what I mean. Seek did the same thing when he when he was there. He right. he was the gatekeeper too, and he knows. He said, "Listen, they said you have to look for this, 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 mm-hmm. and this, and if it doesn't have this, it's a no." And um, you know, it's that's how it went. And if there were good pitches, they they saw the light of day. Yeah, and exactly. They, they got they got to the final round and, and it's still going on. It's, um, yeah. But, uh, that, that year, 2014, they, they put me, uh, they had me handle it. And, uh, when it was done, Matt was like, look, you did a really good job. Pick one of the artists and, and write a short story and you can do one. And so I did like a Magdalena short with, uh, Phil CB. Uh, and so that's, that's sort of like the first real comic I did. Or <laughs> I love it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was fun. Like, I honestly, we ended up putting it in the back of the Magdalena train yeah. uh, trade that me, Teeny, and Christian did, and it was like really funny to see it reflected in trade. I was like, oh, how far we've come. It's no. I mean, it. It was really cool to see because I remember you from from years ago when you came to WonderCon and you were like this this like super excited like kid looking for work, going looking for internships, looking everything. <laughs> Jaded. And 
and uh, and then we had the writers' room, you know, a, a few weeks ago, and Matt was just like, like, there's like two guys who I just trust unequivocally with story, and it's Ryan and Brian, and uh, he he just spoke so highly of you, so it was cool to to see that and and see you get the praise that you've been working hard to get, you know. Yeah, I've suckered him <laughs> over, over over years of working closely with Matt Hawkins. I've convinced them that I'm a talented writer, and it's working out well for me. Thank you.